welcome back to Keto Homestead with Jess. Today we've been working in the garden. I'm going to harvest some spinach here. Add this little flower. I'm putting it across the bed. It's doing pretty good. I got these individual pots at the Dollar Tree. And this year, the first year I grew in them, and I did spinach and lettuces and Swiss chard. So I want to harvest some of this spinach so it doesn't go to seed. And then we'll walk out to the garden where I've been working all day. Eric's been working all day. And I'll show you the progress we've been doing out there. Definitely has been a very hot day in Ohio. I'm going to take those inside and get them washed up, but let's head out to the garden and I'll show you what's been happening out there. All right, we're at the garden. Sorry about the traffic. I can't help it. It's 5 o'clock. Everybody's getting off work. Barrett's over there working on tomatoes. Ah, there's my shirt. I lost it. So, first two rows, I've got black seed oil, black sunflower seed oil. Sunflowers, I've got mammoth sunflowers, I've got my celery in between those two, and then we have sweet corn down these two rows, and then we have yellow squash in between the corn, and then I also have, I know I always pronounce it wrong, Jaredell. I think that's how you pronounce it. Jaredell squash. And then down at the end, I've got zucchini. And we went rogue again. I planned this whole garden out and I always end up going rogue. I forgot to label stuff. <laughs> Even though I mapped it out and then we ended up <laughs> planting all over the place. So I've got beans here. I think these two rows are soup beans, but honestly, I don't know. And then, I believe this is four rows of green beans that we've got planted. I've got broccoli down here. You guys, I'm horrible. I've only successfully grown broccoli one time and I had beautiful heads. My broccoli has already went to seed. What am I doing wrong? If you know, please let me know. Down at the very end, we have our onions. We have, um, what do we got here? We got my Brussels sprouts here in this row. Nothing here yet. And then down on the other side of that panel. And then down on the other side of that panel is my yellow mustard so I can make my homemade mustard. Nothing clear at the other end yet. Here we have red kidney beans. Then we have okra. It's all the way down. We have snowball cauliflower. Two rows, two small rows of that. And then it goes into my romaine lettuce. And then down at the other end is some more snowball cauliflower. I believe I could be wrong. What do we have here? We've got pinto beans in this row. And I can't remember. Another bean variety. I can't remember what we put there. But it's another bean. And then we have red cabbage. All the way down. 
This is going to be tomatoes we haven't planted. There is patty pan squash at the second panel, the furthest one away. This one is honey rock cantaloupe at this first panel. And that little grassy area, I believe that is purple sicily cauliflower. And then, like I said, Barrett's been working on getting the tomatoes in. And this right here will be tomatoes also. We've got so many stuff left to plant. That's not all of it. Some of it's in the back of the truck. And then at this first panel is tiger melon. And then on the other side, I believe it is kiku melon. It's a new variety of melon to me that I've never heard of. So we're going to try that. And the furthest panel over, I'm not sure. Let's walk down there. I can't remember. I just got done planting all the melons. And yeah. So we've got, oh, that's the sugar baby watermelon here. Sugar baby. Oh, and the furthest one over is cuckoo melon, or kaiku melon. I'm not sure how you pronounce it. And this one is cane melon. And then I have um, Swiss chard, shallots, and, well, actually it's first it's shallots. Swiss chard, and then some kale planted here. And then over here I have butter crunch lettuce. We got a weed already. The weeds are taking over. And then I've got some more Swiss chard on this side with some kohlrabi. So yeah, we've been working our butts off in the garden. I've got some taco soup in the crock pot. It's been cooking all day. I can't wait to dig into it. We haven't ate today. I think we ate breakfast this morning, but we haven't ate lunch or anything. So it should be nice and hot and yummy by the time we get in. I am actually done for the day. I've had enough. We've been out here working, I think, four hours. I need to go ice my back and relax and Barrett's going to try to get these tomatoes done for me up oh, so oh, you're done yeah. Barrett's done it's super hot you guys out here uh, I said light or a slight chance of rain tomorrow all right, I want to thank you all for visiting Keto Homestead with Jess. I can't wait to show you updates of the garden. And until next time, stay happy, healthy, and safe. Bye. I almost forgot. Here are the radishes I wanted to show you. We've got a pretty long row here. It goes this way. And then it goes all the way down to the end there. So we're going to check these radishes. See what they look like. Ooh, they're ready. Look at that. Beautiful. So I'll probably harvest some of these tomorrow for dinner. Have some fried radishes and bacon grease with onions. Mm. Let's go down and we'll go check the peas as well real quick. Okay, here are the peas. I was a little worried about the peas being on the fence and them getting ripped out, but they're doing really good. They're getting pretty tall, so are the weeds. But I've got two rows on both sides of this panel and this netting fencing. They're doing pretty good. They're doing their job, they're growing. Just trying to see if we had any pea pods yet, but I don't see any, but I see lots of blooms. So we keep our eyes out. Oh, wait. I do have a peepole. Look how cute. Got another one there. So we got peas coming on, you guys. How exciting. I think I'm going to eat that. So 
cute. Mmm, it's juicy and sweet. Yum.